I congratulate PTI and their leader, my friend. He has courageously, Imran Khan Saab has courageously confronted this criminal, Altaf Hussein, when other Pakistani politicians have either been in bed with him or have been afraid of him, or both at the same time. But Imran Khan is not afraid of anybody. And because of him, and because of Asif Khan, my comrade, I'm here. But I hope you'll forgive me if I stay only a few moments and leave uh, more quickly than I normally do, because I'm uh, a bit shaky on the legs. I have been fighting for more than a decade to get to the bottom of one of the great mysteries of British life, of how it came to pass that an, a criminal organization gang boss, guilty of complicity in murder, in mayhem, in extortion, money laundering, and sundry crimes of grand larceny, can possibly have been awarded British citizenship in an era when we're told terrorism is the first order of priority on the government's business. The airwaves are filled with discussion of terrorism and hundreds of hours of parliamentary time are filled with combating terrorism whilst in Edgware, a terrorist leader with a British passport in his pocket is organizing terrorism in Pakistan on a grand scale. Shame. 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 And as Asif knows, I'm not big on conspiracy theories. I usually think that most things are a cock-up rather than a conspiracy. But as long as the British government doesn't explain how this man came to be allowed to gain citizenship and continue his operation from Edgware, the suspicion will grow that the British government the British state, successive British governments, have been using Altaf Hussein yeah, as a true. cat's paw yeah. in Pakistan's internal affairs. It is simply unacceptable that these crimes can be committed, commissioned, organized, incited on television, on the telephone, from London. And we will not put up with it any longer. The last straw for me was the fire in the factory which burned hundreds of workers to death. Workers, yeah. honest workers, who were sweating from their labor and were then cooked alive. Caused by the Criminal associates of Altaf Hussein, which may or may not have been actively commissioned from here, but come from exactly the murder incorporated that Altaf Hussein is running from London. So, this week, I wrote to the Home Secretary, I wrote to the Commissioner of the Metropolitan Police, and told them that my patience was now at an end, as indeed was the patience of hundreds of thousands of Pakistani origin citizens in Britain and hundreds of millions of Pakistani citizens in Pakistan itself. And that, unless I receive within seven days a proper report of the stage to which the Metropolitan Police investigation has reached and an assurance that this inquiry is not being deliberately strung out so as to evade justice. Unless I receive such a reply, I will begin a private criminal prosecution of al if I'm forced to do that,
I hope that people throughout this land and beyond will help raise the finance required for the lawyers and the courts to bring this man to justice. So, in final words, it's up to the government to show that they mean business, that they are serious about this criminal and his activities in London. And if they want, we will. Thank you very much indeed.